Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to the fifth lecture of discrete structures CSC 102. In the previous lecture we were discussing about logic gates and we have discussed several basic logic gates and how to construct circuits using logic gates. We have also discussed uh, designing circuits for given input output tables and we have discussed also equivalent uh, circuits and how to reduce uh, circuits. Today we shall also start uh, with the reduction of circuits as uh, in the previous lecture we haven't discussed it much and uh, also in today's lecture we shall discuss NAND and NOR gates. We shall also discuss uh, the Boolean algebra, decimal and binary representation of numbers and how to add these numbers. And on the basis of these, uh, we shall discuss uh, half adders and how to construct a circuit using half adders and then full adder circuits. And with the help of half adder and full adder circuits, we can construct parallel adder circuits for the binary addition of numbers for the addition of binary numbers so how to reduce a circuit or the or two equivalent circuits for example if we are given a, an, a, a, a boolean expression this this one p and not q or p and q and whole and q and this is a boolean expression and uh, we can construct a truth table you know easily and the corresponding circuit how to construct the circuit we have discussed in the previous lecture we just write here p and q and then we draw the circuit by watching this boolean expression for example here we have p and not q so first we draw a line p which correspond to p Q and here we constructed a not gate and then this line goes to end now this represent P here we have uh, not Q so here we have P so this is uh, uh, we construct an and gate here which gives us P and not Q so this is we have solved the first bracket here now we have another bracket P and Q we connect here another line for the, the second bracket here and for Q also and we insert them here in the AND gate we obtain here P and Q. Now both of these are connected with OR gate. So we draw a line which comes out from this and from this gate AND gate and we have constructed here an OR gate here we arrived and this represents basically this whole bracket this whole bracket which is p and not q or p and q this is our whole bracket until here now we have <coughs> another input here with and we have conjunction of this whole bracket with q so we need another q so we draw another line here which comes out here and we have and conjunction operator here between this whole bracket and Q so we give input here and we constructed an and gate here so which represent this here here this this represents this whole bracket and Q that is P and not Q or P and Q whole bracket and Q so this is our R so this is how we can construct we have discussed it in the previous lecture how to construct uh, circuits if we are given boolean expressions now sometimes in boolean expressions there are some certain simplifications we can simplify boolean expressions using the laws of or rules of logic just like we have discussed in previous lectures distribution law, commutative law, associative law, 
and important law so such type of laws or rules of logic we can use to simplify such uh, you can say that uh, such long and complex uh, boolean expressions so here we try to simplify this expression using the rules of logic and then we see what happens so here we consider the left hand side p and not q or p and q whole bracket and q here if you look at this carefully we can see that here we can apply a distributive law here we have p and not q or p and q so here we can apply a distributive law which gives us p and not q or q because distributive law is basically p and q or r you can say this so this is equivalent to basically p and q or p and r so this is basically this is distributive law we have discussed in the rules of logic so if we are given this we can write this and if we are given this we can write this because it's a we have proved it already so we can use here distributive law and we can write this whole expression into this expression now here we have not q or q so not q or q is basically or before this we can interchange their positions we can write q or not q by using commutative law as the commutative law was p or q is logically equivalent to q or p and we know that by negation law q or not q or we have discussed it like this p or not p is equivalent to tautology tautology is basically um, a, a proposition which is always true we have discussed it in previous lecture so q or not q gives us tautology and uh, this is uh, basically a negation law and we have also the identity laws in which we have discussed that p and t is always equivalent to p it is identity law so p and t here can be written as p and we have and here q so p and q you see here uh, by using rules of logic laws of uh, logic we can simplify long and complex boolean expressions into and we can uh, by applying these laws we can simplify these expressions now this expression whole this whole expression is logically equivalent to this expression p and q it means that truth table of this expression and this expression uh, uh, will be identical as we have discussed in the definition of equivalent circuit that two boolean expressions or two circuits are said to be equivalent if their truth tables are identical that is the truth values in each row you can say uh, in each row will be identical so the circuit corresponding to this boolean expression will be equivalent to the circuit given uh, by this expression so we can say that the previous circuit which we have constructed by by watching by looking at this boolean expression this is basically logically equivalent to this circuit so you we can conclude that uh, if we are given long and complex boolean expressions uh, if we first try to simplify these boolean expressions by using laws of logic we can simplify them and uh, and then we can construct circuits very simple circuits so this circuit is logically equivalent to this circuit you can see that this circuit is very simple it contains only one logic gate which is and and here in this circuit we have several logic gates and it looks like a complex circuit but it is logically equivalent to this so this is how we can reduce circuits 
by using laws of logic let's consider another example for the reduction of circuits or equivalent circuits here we have another circuit find the boolean expression for the circuits we have to find the boolean expression first for the given two circuits a and b and then show that uh, we we have to show that they are logically equivalent so there are uh, two ways to prove that these two circuits are logically equivalent the first is find the boolean expression for both circuits what will be the boolean expression for the first circuit and for the second circuit then by using rules of logic laws of logic we prove that this boolean expression is logically equivalent to the boolean expression corresponding to this circuit so this is the first way which we have uh, done in the previous example we have proved here this boolean expression is logically equivalent to p and q so this is the one way what is the other way construct the truth table for both circuits for the first circuit a for the second circuit b we construct the truth table by looking at the circuit and then truth table for this circuit if the truth values of both um, truth tables of these circuits are identical then we say that these two circuits are logically equivalent so first we write the boolean expressions here we have and we have p we have q the input of this and is p and p and q so we arrive at here p and q now here the input of this gate and is p here we have not not logic gate so here we have not q the input of this logic gate is not q so here we have arrived at p and not q so here we have another bracket here we have a bracket now the input of this logic gate is basically both here we have not p here we have not q because here we have not gate on both these inputs so at the end here we have not p and not q so we have another bracket here uh, another gate here or whose input is this this and this here we have p and q here we have p and not q here we have not p and not q so here we have or gate therefore we can write p and q or p and not q or not p and not q so here we has this we have this so this is basically the boolean expression which corresponds to this circuit you can see that this is very long boolean expression and the boolean expression corresponding to this circuit here we have one logic gate or and here we have another not gate so here we have not q here we have p so output of this circuit is p and not q so we have to prove that these two boolean expressions are logically equivalent or we can i told you that we can show it by using uh, truth tables first we prove it by using uh, by by proving this boolean expression is logically equivalent to this boolean expression here we consider the left hand side p and q or p and not q or not p and not q so this is basically the left hand side of the or you can say this is the boolean expression corresponding to circuit a and we shall prove it uh, equal to equivalent to the boolean expression to the circuit b so we consider this now if we look at uh, this boolean expression we can carefully we can see that uh, here p and q or p and not q we can again use the distributive law here as we have used in the previous uh, example so we have used here the distributive law we obtained p and q or not q or here the rest will come will be same 
here not p and not q so q or not q is basically a tautology as by using negation laws and we write t p and t t is a tautology p and t is equivalent to p by using identity law so here we have p or not p and not q so we can use uh, here a uh, distributive law we can write p or not p and p or not q here p or not p is basically a tautology by using negation law then tautology and some um, proposition here you can see that uh, you, you can see, we can say that p and some logical some proposition any you can say this is r which is r is here basically p or not q so t and r is logically equivalent to basically uh, r because by using negation law so we can write here t and p or not q is equivalent to basically this or by f first by using commutative law we can write it as this here and tautology here and this is logically equivalent to this so what is this this is basically the second circuit b b circuit this was our a circuit which we have considered in the left hand side so you can see here by using rules of logic we can simplify such type of long boolean expression into a very simple and short boolean expression so we can say here that this uh, circuit is logically equivalent to this circuit the output of these circuit will be same next we start what are the NAND and NOR gates we have uh, I have introduced these uh, gates in the first lecture uh, sorry in the in, in the first lecture when we have started not exactly in first lecture but uh, when we have started the logic gates in the start of logic gates I have introduced you NAND and NOR gates but I haven't uh, discussed it so now we discuss what are NAND and NOR gates and uh, how these gates help us to simplify the complex and long boolean expressions and uh, what are the application of these gates another way to simplify a circuit is to find an equivalent circuit that uses the least number of different kinds of logic gates two gates not previously introduced are useful for this that is these gates also help us to simplify to reduce the complex and long boolean expressions into simple boolean expressions first is a NAND, NAND gate is a single gate that acts like an AND gate followed by NOT gate that is first we apply AND and then NOT NOT gate <coughs> it will give us an AND gate the, the, the expression symbolic representation for the NAND gate is this basically this is basically the the combination of and and not gate so this is you can say not plus and gate is gives us nand gate the input of uh, this gate is basically p and q 1 1 1 0 0 1 and 0 0 and outputs how what are the outputs the output signal of a NAND gate is zero when and only when both input signals are one and output signal for basically here uh, the logical symbol corresponding to these gates are this this is the logical or the symbolic rep representation of NAND gate that is we write this P this uh, vertical bar you can say that p named q is logically equivalent to not p and q that is this is basically uh, an and gate followed by a not gate so first we apply p and q and then we apply a not gate so we represent uh, symbolically it as p named q and this is basically logically equivalent to by by using the definition of nand gate not p and q 
and the, tr the truth table for this gate is pq11 and the, these values and its output is basically p and q when both p and q are 1 the output of this gate is 0 how as this p and q is equivalent to not p and q when p is 1 q is 1 p and q is 1 when we apply not on this this will give us 0 so therefore here the first output of this gate is 0 when 1 p is 1 q is 0 we have p and q uh, 0 and then we apply not we get 1 similarly this is 1 this is 1 so this is basically a NAND gate and next what is the NOR gate a NOR gate acts like acts like an OR gate followed by NOT gate that is uh, if we add up OR plus NOT gate that is NOT plus OR this will give, give us NOR gate and its output how what are the outputs of this gate output signal for a NOR gate this is basically NOT plus OR and NOR gate it's basically the abbreviation of NOT plus OR NOR its uh, logical or symbol symbolic representation is basically this the down arrow this which is called a Pierce arrow and this uh, vertical line or you can say that this, this uh, bar vertical bar is called a Sheffer stroke you, we can read it as also P Sheffer stroke Q is logically equivalent to P and Q and P piece arrow Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q as we have discussed here this NOR gate is uh, basically OR gate followed by NOT gate so this is logically equivalent to this by the definition and the truth table for this for this uh, logic gate is basically this and the symbolic representation the gate corresponding to this uh, NOR uh, gate is this this is basically OR and we draw a small circle here after the OR gate similarly here in the NAND gate we construct an AND gate and we draw a simple cir circle here uh, in the AND gate this will give us the the gate representation of these logic gates NAND and NOR the truth table uh, for this NOR gate is basically the inputs are 2 PQ 11100100 we represent uh, we write it as r or p piece arrow q is basically zero when both of these are one you can uh, draw yourself the output uh, here input or a truth table here as p piece arrow q is basically logically equivalent to not p or q when P is 1, Q is 1, P or Q is 1. When we apply not, we get 0. When P is 1, Q is 0, P or Q is 1. When we apply not, we get 0. Similarly, 0, 1, 0. When P is 0, Q is 0. P 0, Q is 0, P or Q is what? This is 0. When we apply not, we get 1. The truth step, the truth value of this logic gate. So these are the truth tables for these uh, logic gates. Now it can be shown that any Boolean expression is equivalent to one written entirely with Sheffer strokes or entirely with Pierce arrows. That is if we are given any expression, any Boolean expression we have considered in the previous two examples, we can write any Boolean expression by using by only using Sheffer strokes or by using by only using Pierce, Pierce arrows 
that means any digital logic circuit or any boolean expression which correspond to digital logic circuit uh, is equivalent to one that uses only NAND gates or only NOR gates so we consider some examples uh, how to express uh, boolean expressions by using uh, Sheffer strokes or Peeves arrows for example let's consider very simple boolean expression not p here we have not p for example not p how to write this boolean expression uh, by using only Sheffer strokes or Peeves arrows and Sheffer strokes basically uh, the definition of this Sheffer stroke is p Sheffer stroke q is logically equivalent to not p and q this is what the definition of Sheffer stroke or NAND gate now how to express this not p by using expressions of such type which uses only Sheffer strokes this is what we have to uh, write in this next example not p is basically we can see not p is logically equivalent to here not p and p that is we can write not p and p and you know that p and p is logically equivalent to p we have discussed it in the rules of logic or laws of logic so we can write p as p and p not not here we have already not now instead of q we have p here instead of q we have p here so we have to construct here uh, we try to construct here the definition of uh, Sheffer stroke to convert this boolean expression into an expression which contains only the Sheffer strokes so here we have not p and p and instead of q we have p here therefore we can write it as p Sheffer stroke p so not p is, an boolean, is, a, is a boolean expression and this is logically equivalent to this and we have converted it hmm, into a boolean expression which uses only the Sheffer strokes similarly we can uh, consider this example P or Q P or Q is basically logically equivalent to not of not P or Q as we can by double negation law we have not P of not P of not P is basically logically equivalent to P we can write it as this is basically negation law so here we can write p or q as not of not p or q which is the double negation law and then we can apply the negation on this by using de morgan's law not p or q is logically equivalent to not p and not q and then by using the part a here as we know that not p is logically equivalent to this p Sheffer stroke p here we can write not p as p Sheffer stroke p and this remains same here and not q, q similarly by using part a we can write as q Sheffer stroke q now here we have this expression not p Sheffer stroke p and q Sheffer stroke q this if we suppose that this is r this is w then we have not r and w so by using the definition of the Sheffer stroke we have p and q not p and q is equal logically equivalent to p Sheffer stroke q so we can write it as r Sheffer stroke w now what is r r is basically this p Sheffer stroke p and w is q Sheffer stroke q so we can write uh, it as uh, this is logically equivalent to p Sheffer stroke p 
then shuffle stroke <coughs> and Q shuffle stroke Q so this expression here P or Q is logically equivalent to this so we can write any boolean expression any boolean expression uh, by using on by using only the Schiffer strokes or we can convert any boolean expression into an expression which uses only the Schiffer strokes so now we consider the same example for uh, and we convert the same boolean expressions into a boolean expressions which contains only the pierce arrows <coughs> which is a, a downward arrow it's just, it's just a notation and the definition of p pierce uh, arrow q is basically logically equivalent to not p or q here in the first part here not p not p by using the same logic not p but little bit different not p is logically equivalent to not p or p because in this definition we have or so we can write here p as p or p by using the rules of logic now here we have a, a p instead of q so we can write it as p p p arrow p so not p is logically equivalent to P, P, arrow P. So this is done. Now we consider the the second part, B part, and we have to write P or Q. We have to prove P or Q is logically equivalent to P, P, arrow Q, bracket P, arrow bracket P, P, arrow Q. So this is what we have to prove, and we prove it either by considering left hand side to right hand side or we can start from right hand side and we can arrive at left hand side i have used the right hand side here just to but you can use left hand side also by uh, reversing the steps if we consider p or q for example p or q then we can write it as not of not p or q by using double negation law this is basically the definition of p arrow not p or q so what is this this is basically p p arrow q now by using part a that is not p is p p arrow p so here we have not consider it whole as a p so we can write as p p arrow q bracket this is p p arrow again p p p arrow q so this is how we can prove it and similarly we c you can prove the part c also we can convert it p and q into an ex uh, into a boolean expression which contains only the p's arrows next we start boolean algebra before starting the boolean uh, algebra we repeat some decimal representation which you i hope you have studied in your early classes 6 5th 6th 7th so what is basically the numbers which you see in daily life for example 6152 what is this number actually this number is basically a decimal representation deci uh, means 10 and this is basically a latin word uh, decimal comes from the latin word deci which means 10 this is basically a, a system of numbers uh, whose base is 10 so its decimal representation is we can write 6152 as 6 into 1000 plus 1 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 2 into 1 and then 1000 can be written as 10 power 3 100 can be written as 10 power 2 10 can be written as 10 power 1 and 1 is basically 10 power 0 any number power 0 if we have a some number which is real number its power 0 is always 1 a could be anything so if we write a is equal to 10 10 power 0 is 1 
or 2 power 0 is again 1 any number numbers power 0 is equal to 1 so more generally or we have uh, you have also studied that this is unit place this is hundred this is thousand uh, this is unit place this is tenth place this is hundred place and this is thousand place unit this is tenth place basically this is hundred and this is thousand So, <coughs> more generally, any number, any decimal number, this can be written as sum of products of the form d into 10 power n, d, where d is any known negative integer here. It could be uh, 0, 1, 2, up to 9. So, that is any number is basically sum of the products of this form we can write any decimal number like this how to convert and there is uh, another binary notation which you have studied in your early classes binary notation I repeat here how to convert a decimal number into a binary notation for example here we have 27 usually in decimal representation we write 27 base 10 we like this but in decimal numbers we we don't care about this base because it is obvious that the base is 10 when we use daily life mathematics or calculations here 27 how to convert it into a binary expression 27 can be written as 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 so here 16 can be written as 1 into 2 power 4 plus 8 here 8 can be written as 1 into 2 power 3 and 2 can be written as here we have a, a missing number here another we write here 0 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 0 here we have two increase, increasing powers of 2 here we have 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 and 2 power 4 here in this expression we uh, we didn't have the 2 power 2 so we write it 2 power 2 into 0 now the coefficients of these powers 1 here 1 here we have 0 here we have 1 here we have 1 so the coefficient of these increasing powers of 2 is basically we can write them here 1 1 0 1 1 and the base will be the base of this number will be 2 and this is basically the the equivalent form of this 27 into a binary representation just to remind you the powers of 2 2 power 0 is 1 2 power 1 is 1 2 power 2 is 4 2 power 3 is 8 16 32 64 128 this this so we can uh, represent any decimal number we can convert any decimal number into a binary number or binary representation and similarly we can convert any binary number into a decimal representation here are the first nine decimal numbers uh, the conversion of first nine decimal numbers into the binary representation 1 base 10 means the the decimal representation of 1 is 1 we write it here in b 1 base 10 this is 1 into 2 power 0 this is 1 base 2 2 base 10 is logically equivalent to 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 which is 1 0 similarly 3 is 3 base 10 is equal to 1 1 base 2 4 base 10 is 1 0 0 2 base 2 and similarly you can see the other integers the binary representation is given here now how to convert a, a binary number a binary representation of numbers into a decimal 
representation of number. Let's consider this example. Here we have this number which has base 2. That is, it's a binary number. That is, binary representation of some number. How to convert this number uh, into a decimal notation? Here, as we have converted it, a, a, a decimal number into binary, we, we reverse the same process. We start by this. We write 1 into 2 power 0. The next number into 2 power 1. Next number into 2 power 2. Next number into 2 power 3. Next number into 2 power 4. And the first number last, you can say number into 2 power 4, 5. So here we don't miss any power of 2. We don't miss any power of 2. That is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. As we have uh, written here, when we have converted a decimal number into binary notation, uh, if some power of 2 is missing, we can write it this power by multiplying it by 0. We don't miss any power of 2. So this is a very important point here. So here we write uh, 1 into 2 power 0, 1 into 2 power 1 here we don't have any uh, power of 2 2 power 2 we don't have here so we write here 2 power 2 into 0 this will uh, this will not affect our uh, calculations but uh, this will give us the exact binary representation of this decimal uh, number 27 so do not miss any power of 2 similarly here uh, once you have written and this expression like this then just simplify this expression as you simplify the expressions in decimal representation 1 into 2 power 5 2 power 5 is 32 I have given you this table 2 power 5 is 32 2 power 4 is 16 8 4 2 1 so we use this table here and we write 32 16 but here we have 0 so we don't write it because it is uh, 0 into 8 is 0 so here we come to the next point next uh, number 1 into 2 power 2 this is 4 and 0 into 2 power 1 means there is no 2 here here we have 1 into 2 power 0 this is this is 1 we add up all these numbers just in we add in decimal numbers 32 plus 16 48 50 plus 4 52 and 1 with 53 so the the conversion of binary representation into decimal representation is like this. So, this is uh, given in the form of a table. We can convert uh, decimal represent uh, sorry binary representation numbers into decimal representation numbers. Now, how to add these numbers in uh, in binary uh, notations? If we are given these two numbers, this uh, in binary notation, this this is base two here, not two. This is base two. Here we have triple one base two, not two. So add one one zero one base two and one 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 base two using binary notations. We have to add these numbers, but first we see how to add only two digits in binary notations because 2 base 10 is equal to 1 0 and 1 base 10 is 1 2 so as uh, uh, here we have discussed 1 base 10 is 1 1 2 base 10 is 1 0 3 base 10 is 1 1 base 2 so if you remember these three numbers that will be enough enough in binary addition so 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2 is basically 1 0 base 2 and similarly if we have 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2 this is 1 1 base 2 as 3 base 10 is equal to 1 1 base 2 or you can add first these two numbers 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2 is 1 0 base 2 as in this and then you can add this number here 1 base 2 this is 
zero plus one is one and one remains one this is one one base two so this is how we can uh, add only two digits or three digits in binary notation now let's add these two numbers here we have one one zero one the first number the second number is one 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 we write the second number on the by starting the leftmost or you can say that below the 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 last digit of uh, this whole binary digit so we write it like this one one zero one and one 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 we add up first two numbers here when we add up these two numbers one one this will give us what one zero we write here the leftmost number and we send the right number into a carry we send this number as a carry to the next column you can say this just like we add the numbers in the decimal representation if we add up this 5 into 5 6 plus uh, you can say 7 in binary in simple decimal representation we have 6 and 7 13 so we write 3 here we send carry 1 here so we went and then we add up these this number 5 1 5 plus 1 is 6 so this was basically the addition in decimal number now here in binary notation when we the when the sum of two binary digits reaches 2 we divide it by 2 as you have discussed you have uh, you have already uh, read it in earlier classes so 1 2 1 plus 1 is basically 2 2 in decimal representation 2 base 10 is equal to 1 0 in binary representation so now we write it here and we send this one as a carry here so here we have now 1 plus 0 plus 1 again we have 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is again 2 again we have 2 2 in decimal representation we write it as 1 0 we write here again 0 and we send this 1 as a carry here now we have 1 1 1 this is basically 3 in decimal representation and 3 base 10 is logically equivalent to what 1 1 base 2 so we have 1 1 base 2 we write here 1 and this one we send as a carry again we have 1 plus 1 is basically 2 2 base 10 is what 1 0 base 2 here we have 0 we send 1 as a carry but there is no other number here so we write 1 here also so this is how we add two binary digits two binary numbers now what is the application of this in, in circuits we can construct circuits to add binary digits and come as you can see uh, as you know that in computers uh, the computer addition and uh, computer adds the numbers first by converting them into binary numbers and then it adds and it converts back to decimal numbers because in computer we can use only the bit notation that is binary numbers 0 1 1 0 so what is but well now the application of logic in uh, sorry the application of boolean algebra in logic now just like boolean logic variables can only be 1 0 instead of true false uh, logic we can interpret as a boolean algebra also in logic we write true false but in boolean algebra we say 1 0 true is equivalent to 1 and false is equivalent to 0 so not what is the negation of 0 negation of 0 is 1 as the negation of false is what true and negation of true is false so 
negation of 0 is 1, negation of 1 is 0, or or is used as plus, 1 plus 1 is 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is what? We have discussed it, this is basically 1, 0. And is used as multiplication, 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0, 1 into 0 is 0, and 1 into 1 is 1. So this is uh, how we can relate Boolean Libra with the logic. Now what is half adder? When we add up 1 and 1 here, we obtain basically when we add up 1, 1, we get 2. 2 is not allowed in binary uh, numbers. Only 0 and 1 is allowed. Therefore, uh, in computers, how to add such type of digits when we have we when we reach at 2 this is logically basically this is equal to 1 0 in base 2 this is in base 10 to add, add such type of uh, digits we construct a circuit which is called basically uh, a, a half adder circuit in this we consider adding two one bit binary numbers x and y one bit means only single digits if we add up 0 plus 0 okay 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1 0 this is obvious that base is 2 here this is binary representation now here the problem is here if we add up 0 plus 0 it's 0 there is no problem if we add up 0 plus 1 we'll get 1 there's no problem if we get 1 plus 0 we get 1 there's no problem but when we add a 1 plus 1 so there are two two digits one is called sum and the other is called carry as we have in addition here when we add up 1 and 1 we write here 0 and we send 1 as a carry here so uh, when we add up 1 plus 1 which gives us 2 here we have two digits one is the first is called sum and the other is called carry because this one we send as a carry now in half adder circuit the input are x y which could be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 which is false 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 true true false true true when we add up 0 0 we have some this 0 when we add up 0 0 we can write it as 0 0 in binary notation this is sum this is carry this is sum and this is carry when we add up 0 and 1 we have 1 this can be written as 0 1 in base 2 here 1 is sum and carry 0 this can also be written as 0 1 base 2 1 is sum and 0 is carry when we have 1 plus 1 we have 1 0 this 0 is sum and this 1 is carry so this is uh, we have explained uh, we have summarized all these calculations here in this table which is uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is input and what is the output output is output is also two integers the first is sum and carry if we add up 0 0 we get 0 sum 0 carry if we add up 0 and 1 we get sum 1 and carry 0 as we have discussed here and when we add up 1 1 the sum is 0 and the carry is 1 the carry is basically obtained by using and gate here if we apply 1 and 1 we get 1 so carry is basically x and y and sum here is basically x xor y that is exclusive r we have discussed this uh, gate uh, in the basic logic gates in the previous lectures this is basically exclusive or this is XOR we have discussed it and its output is 
वन वेन एग्जैक्टली वन ऑफ पी और क्यू इज वन अदरवाइज इट इज जीरो लॉजिक गेट और एग्जॉर नोटेशन वी हैव डिस्कसड ऑलरेडी द सर्कट टू कंप्यूट दिस इज कॉल्ड हाफ एडर सर्कट अ सच टाइप ऑफ आउटपुट इफ वी कैलकुलेट वाई यूजिंग सर्कट दिस सर्कट इज कॉल्ड बेसिकली अ हाफ एडर एंड द सर्कट इज दिस वे द इनपुट इज एक्स एंड वाई बाई लुकिंग एट द the truth table here we have x y carry sum because as the outputs are also two so inputs are here when we um, we have both 0 0 we give input when the sum is basically 0 we construct this circuit input is basically x y we construct here or gate we construct here an n gate you know this is basically an or gate this is an and gate this is also and gate and this is not gate this circuit represents this input output table or you can say truth table when both x and y are zero we have zero here we have zero here we have zero here we have zero here we get zero here and we get zero here because here we have or here we have and we have not here so we get one here we remain zero remains here because here we have zero we have and gate when both x and y are zero we obtain here zero sum is zero and carry here we have zero here we have zero here we have zero this zero comes here zero so we get sum as a zero and carry as a zero and i explain you this uh, or when x is 0 y is 1 when x is 0 y is 1 we have 0 here 1 here so we get 1 here and we have 0 here and 1 here we get 0 here so here we have 1 here we have 1 and this gives 1 here so sum in this case is 1 and carry comes again 0 when both x and y are 1 this is 1 and this is 1 we have one one we get one here we get one here and not when we apply not we get zero here one and zero and we get this give us zero sum we have one here this comes again here one so carry is one so this circuit basically uh, describes the uh, the the the, the sum of two single digit numbers either one 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 zero zero one or zero zero two digit numbers, and you see that when we add up two numbers in binary notations, for example, uh, this number one one zero zero one 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 zero. When we add up, we get zero here, we get one here, we get one and one carry. When we add up now these three numbers, we get we 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 have problem. We cannot add. three numbers here by using half headers so to add three numbers by using circuit we construct another circuit which is called a full adder circuit that is here half adder circuit it can add up only two digit binary numbers but when we have three numbers in the addition of any two Uh, binary numbers when we had up we 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 have three numbers there is a problem we cannot add these three numbers by using half adder circuits and for uh, to handle such type of problem we construct a full adder circuit which will add up three uh, three digits in binary uh, three binary digits this can add up the inputs are again x y output is sum carry out and here input basically is now the third one also we have carry in we have for example here we have this is input this is input and input is added with along with the carry also carry so when we have three binary digits single digits how to add up these numbers so we suppose 
But generally, if we have three digits P, Q, R, how to add these numbers and such type of numbers are uh, added by using half adder circuits. We use two half adder circuits and one OR gate to construct a circuit which is called a full adder circuit. The inputs are P, Q, R and output is carry and sum. How to add three digit numbers? For example, 1, 1, 1, 1 base 2, 1 base 2, 1 base 2. We add up first two numbers first, 1, 2 plus 1, 2 by using half adder and we get one carry and one sum. We, we can here in this case we have uh, uh, 1, 0 base 2, 0 is sum and carry is 1. And the result of this number we add up in this number that is now this result is basically 1, 0 base 2 and we add 1 base 2 the third number uh, in this uh, the, the resulting expression this these two numbers will be added up by using half add num uh, half adders and we get the first carry and first sum now the sum of the resulting expression will be added to the next uh, digit so this sum we have gave we gave here the input of another half adder circuit we have r as an input the third number here r the inputs are two again two digits and to add these two digits we again use an half adder circuit this will give us another carry and sum you can say carry two and sum two the carry two the second carry will go here in the OR gate as the input and the carry one here in the the as the input of this OR gate and the sum will come here as this this will be the sum and this will be the final carry so this type of circuit is called a full adder circuit this is used as basically to add up three binary digits now by using these two circuits how we have constructed why we have constructed these two circuits half adders and full adder circuits basically these two circuits are used to to, to, to for the addition of a two boolean numbers two binary numbers of any length that is if we have these two numbers in computer how we add up these two numbers first at the first step we use a half adder circuit and then we could have sum and carry here and then at each step we need a full adder circuit to add up three binary digits for the first case we use half adder and for the other remaining cases we use full adder circuit to add up the three binary digits so to to construct a circuit uh, sorry to add two binary digits of any length binary numbers of any length we can use half adder and full adder circuits to, to to add up two binary digits of any length and such type of circuits is are called basically parallel adder circuits for example if we have any two expressions binary expressions p q r base 2 and s t u base 2 these two binary uh, binary numbers we can take here uh, also a b c d binary numbers of any length we can choose and how to add these numbers for the first two we use half adder and for the remaining we use full adder because we might have here a carry row carry row here so to add up these uh, numbers we use parallel adder circuits and the first as i have told you the the the, the and the first column we use half adder and in the next columns we use full adder circuits to add up uh, two binary numbers of any length for example here uh, to add up these two pqr and stu here we have pqr and stu to add ru 
we add we use half adder and then we got we get one sum and one carry and the carry will be added to to the second column here q and t here we have carry one so carry one is added here with q and t and we have constructed a full adder circuit we have one sum and carry the carry in this case will also be uh, the input of the full adder circuit when we add up p and s here we again have another carry so this carry will be input here we obtain sum and carry and the sum uh, the result of uh, the, the, the sum of these two binary digits will be the first sum in this case sum in this case sum in this case and carry in the final case so the sum of these two binary digits will be w x y z so this is basically the sum of two binary digits we can add up uh, like this by using parallel adder circuits two binary digits of any length i think it's uh, enough for today we stop here so in today's lecture we have discussed uh, equivalent circuits and how to reduce uh, circuits into simple circuits we have also discussed nand and nor gates and basics of boolean algebra how to add to binary digits and how to convert binary into decimal and decimal into binary we have discussed also half adder and full adder circuits and uh, how to we have discussed how to add two binary numbers of any length by using parallel adder circuits in the next lecture we shall start uh, the logic of predicates quantifiers and predicates or you can say quantified statements we shall meet in the uh, inshallah in the next lecture until that allah hafiz